everyone, it's Kasia from Tarot Map. It's day 7, 30 of 31 days of Tarot by Ethany. And it's about the deck of 2017 that I crossed off my wish list. I have to say I'm one of those people who really values my dreams. <laughs> like, I value my dreams. I know what I want. If I really want it, I want to get it. I act fast. I either swap or I purchase if I have money. If I don't have money, I sell what I can to get the money. I'm just like rotating my items, basically. Um, also, you know, I don't really spend money on clothes, shoes, bags, cosmetics. Not that I care. It's just I don't care. <laughs> really, I don't care. It's not of my interest. Um, I don't really feel any particular emotions. I don't want to buy any of this. I just want to buy tarot decks and maybe books. Um, and this is something which, you know, I'm passionate about and I totally don't feel ever guilty about uh, having many decks or um, having spending money on decks. So once we clear that, <laughs> um, my wish list usually is very short or has quite a few points, but I usually make my wish list a reality. That's my point. So I right now I think on my wish list um it's Dust to Onyx, which I unfortunately missed out on after a really weird exchange of emails on my side and on Courtney's side. And in the end she just refunded me money for the pre-order without actually asking me if I want a refund. But um in the end, you know, it's not that I'm blaming her. It was just like a weird miscommunication around the full moon. Uh, but yeah, I was a bit surprised to get a refund without actually being asked if I want a refund. Uh, so that was a little bit, little bit off and I was a bit bummed that I didn't get the first edition. We'll see how the second edition is, if I still feel drawn to this deck. For now, you know, it's very beautiful, so we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I was a bit disappointed not to get this one. But anyway, um, one of my big um, wishes that I had in 2017 was the Orasoma Tarot, which I manifested through a beautiful woman called Krishna Priya because she has offered to send me this deck as a gift. And uh, I just, yeah, I couldn't believe it when I saw her email. So if you ever watch this Krishna Priya, I'm still very grateful for this. And I'm hoping, you know, uh, the, the little gesture came back to you many folds. So this is the bottled version of Orasoma. I also have a lot of books uh, on Orasoma. I actually knew this system before when I was living in Australia. I had a reading done. I had some um, products from Orasoma, bottles and pomanders and stuff. I was trying them out on me. And yeah, this deck is just very beautiful. So I'm so glad she did send it to me because now it uh, seems out of print, the bottled bags, but you can still get the logo bags. So it doesn't really matter so much if you're more into tarot and not so much into Orasoma. Another deck that I um, crossed off my wish list, this one came also from a friend and that's the Aquarian Tarot, but the, this back version, because I had the one in the tin and it wasn't the same. I gave it to Piotr, I think, or yeah, I gave it to somebody. And uh, Lisa sent me this one. So also thanks Lisa, I still love this deck and it's beautiful. Another deck that I crossed off my wish list was Carol Hatzer's deck. So this one I didn't manage to get from a swap or from a friend. <laughs> I did purchase this one. They quite actually this particular I did get for uh, this particular I did get for my birthday from my dear friend Kasia. Thank you. But I did purchase the original one and I purchased um, the Chakra Arcana Tarot from Carol. And um, yeah, I love Carol's deck. She made me fall in love with Rider Waite Smith again. So um, that's the beautiful kind of remake of Rider Waite Smith. Another deck that I really lasted after was the Ashera Tarot, which I've heard is being published again on maybe a better paper, even though I particularly don't mind this paper. 
but yeah there's if you like a really paper uh, aware then um, apparently it's cheaper and on better paper I saw this uh, in a group tarot group so I don't know if it's true I haven't checked it because I'm not interested in another um, deck I have mine it's enough I'm happy with it but it's a, it was a beautiful deck and when I saw it on Anneke's uh, Nobody's Here channel I was like oh, I want this deck so I got it and then I also you know if you like Tarot de Marseille you would last after Ilmenegala decks right so yeah Ilmenegala decks I purchased for myself because um, I found this shop Tarot BG and the European uh, and they stock in Europe and sent with European um, shipping which is cheaper than purchasing from Ilmenegelo directly so I highly recommend Tarot BG if you look at for the video where I flip through those two decks which I purchased recently you can find direct link to this shop and then also um, beautiful Tracy um, from Temperance Tarot and myself we swapped and there was also one of my wish list for a while and I did get the Intuitive Tarot by Sila Conway which I really love so thank you Tracy as well I really think this tarot community is amazing and I don't know if you know Kay Chris um, she is as Kay Crispo on Instagram and she's going through a very rough, a very rough time right now and um, you can check her YouTube channel, I will link her, uh, her details below, you can access this from there. And um, if you don't know Chris, just check some of her videos, she's amazing, beautiful, very um, gorgeous person inside out. And yeah, she's in need of help. And I, from what I saw, this community has been just amazing. And I felt really touched for her, but also just for all of us how um, we can be like this wall of virtual support to somebody and so thanks for that I'm just like oh having goosebumps even thinking about it and um, so yeah that's just a short uh, video and I speak to you tomorrow bye